Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the Exiled Lands in Map Square F4, building a small arena. This build was requested by Ivy on Discord for a server named ELO, so thank you for the suggestion, Ivy. As usual, today's video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. Whether you want to protect your right to privacy and anonymity online, or you just want to watch some new shows on Netflix, NordVPN is perfect for you. When you visit nordvpn.org slash iradyt, you can get 68% of a two-year deal, plus a month free. Stick around until the end of the video to learn more about what NordVPN can do for you. So, without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, we are going to be starting off with, of course, the base plate. Ivy requested this build to be as small and as lightweight as possible to reduce server load, which posed something of a small challenge. Let's be honest, when we think of arenas, we usually think of quite large structures, so sizing one down seemed initially fairly difficult, although actually executing the design wasn't as hard as I anticipated. I started off with Black Eyes Fence Foundations, drawing out an 8x8 square with a 4x1 strip at the entrance, segmented into different sections. I then covered the fence foundations with arena ceilings, using clean ones for the interior, and then the sandy ones for the area where players can fight. Next, for the walls. I put some fences on the back of the fighting pit, and then I began to build up the walls using arena windows and walls, and also using door frames to section off different parts of the build. For the ground floor, I'll build the walls up two tiles high in total. I also added some side platforms next to the fighting pit for spectators to sit and watch the fight, along with sectioning off the side corridors even more to make a clear distinction between the spectator part of the arena and the fighter's corridor to the pit. Next, I capped off the walls with arena vaulted ceiling pieces, namely the single tile pieces. I don't use these pieces too often, I usually prefer the larger vaulted ceiling sections, but these actually work quite well to create some of those curves and lines that make arena such a great material pack to work with. After placing those vaulted ceilings, I then placed Terranian stairs down to reach the first floor, onto which I then placed arena fences onto the pit facing side of the floor, and then I built walls one tiles high around the exterior facing sides and capped off those walls with arena crenellated walls to get that sort of castle battlement style. Finally, when the shell build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. 
Approaching the arena, I've added some statues and a sun cover over the door, and lit the build with terrain braziers and lamps. Entering the arena, it's pretty tight and compact, which is a given considering the overall size of the build is 8x8. Eight eight. However, within what is a relatively small space, I've managed to include two ground floor seating areas to watch the action in the fighting pit up close and personal, with standing room above the fighting pit to look down on the fighters. I've done a couple of arena builds, most of them fairly large, and translating that same purpose into such a small build was actually quite an interesting experiment, and if you're trying to be conscious of the size and resource requirements of your own arena, especially if you're playing on a multiplayer server, I would definitely recommend using this design. And there we have it, a small arena in the Exiled Lands in Map Square F4. Thanks for watching, and thanks again to Ivy for the suggestion. I quite enjoy this build, and hopefully the guys over at ELO also enjoy this design. As I mentioned earlier, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. If you want to stay safe on the internet and ensure you can't be tracked by shady individuals, or whilst being able to access Netflix, BBC iPlayer, ITV, Hulu, HBO and more regardless of where you live, all whilst maintaining blazing fast internet speeds, NordVPN is the perfect choice for you. When you use my link or discount code, you can get 68% off a two year deal, which comes out to $3.71 a month, an absolute bargain price for such a great service that I use almost every day. The software is a small download and it's easy to use one click and you're both connected and protected, and you have full access to the internet. Nord also has very strict policies on protecting your data, meaning you can browse in confidence. Visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt or use code eradyt at checkout to claim this huge discount and get the best VPN service available on the internet and also help me out a lot at the same time. As always, thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. If you've enjoyed this video leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. Again, don't forget you can get 68% off NordVPN when you use code ERADYT at checkout or you can go through my affiliate link in the description and pinned comment below. YouTube is currently my full time source of income, so if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles, and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. The link to my Patreon is in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel feel free to consider becoming a patron. 
On that note, a thanks to our current patrons Sammy, Sodialot, Randar, MK Pantheon, Velma, Shannara, and Torn. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Cone Nexiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday. So if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.